So I didn't personally experience a lot of anger, but I've met with so many widows that are dealing with that, and that is completely normal. God can handle it. The psalmist went to the Lord lamenting. And so a lot of times Christians are ashamed to admit they're mad at God. Right. And it's perfectly, God can handle it. He's a big yeah. God, and he will walk you through that anger. The whole grief process does change us. I am not the same Gina Castori that I was the night that Frank had his last broadcast. I am a right. very much a different person now. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the beauty of it is that when you let God into the whole process and you take those little steps of faith out of your comfort comfort zone and you allow God to grow you, you will become a more fully human being, as yeah. you said. That's yeah. so good. What is your advice uh, about the issue of loneliness that people are suddenly dealing with? That's a great question. And it, it yes, I mean, I do have moments of profound loneliness, missing Frank so much. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so important to connect, to yeah, allow yeah. your friends, friends to be there for you, to be with you. Family members, church community is huge. I felt so bad during the whole COVID thing because yeah. so many widows and widowers and people who lost loved ones weren't, couldn't go to church and connect. Yeah. yeah. So that is very important. And again, sometimes when you're in those first stages of grief, you will feel like pulling away. But I and I think you do have to have times when you're alone and you cry. But right. not, don't do it for a long time and allow people into your pain. That's very important.